<laughs> so, uh, something about this matchup. Uh, it uh, sucks. That's what I'm going to say. It sucks uh, for all of us. It sucks for us. It sucks for all of us. No, no, it doesn't suck for us because it's going to be action. Does it it's suck just, for all of it's, it's awful for all of us. It's like his whole game plan is like pick. You have to get through this Amada Pikmin, and then you do something wrong, and I punish you for it. Sonic doesn't really care about that. He just barrels through, kills him before forty percent, and <laughs> Almore just has a mountain to climb, even when this game is even. Like they could be playing neutral, yeah. like, and it's it's just so tough for Almore to get anything started. Yeah, and I mean. As you mentioned, one of the problems in this matchup is that even when the Pikmin do land on Kamex, they're gone because mm -hmm. he's already spin dashing. He's already neutral airing. Indeed. He's already, you know, some characters can kind of struggle to kill Pikmin if they latch onto an awkward part of their body. But uh, Sonic just turns into a tiny little ball where the Pikmin get absorbed into the hitbox like, by themselves. And nothing happens to them. Yep. It's very unfortunate. Yeah, Swigsy was lapped in percent. Ooh, what? that back air was nasty. Let's go, Swigzy. Doing, putting something on the board. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got today, Chief. I mean, let's, uh, you know. And we got a lost stock. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Olimar being light, being pushed off stage like that, it looks real bad. And the other thing is that um, another piece of this matchup being rough is what are, you know, as Olimar, mm -hmm. what are your normal best tools at lower percents? Uh, best per at lower percents, you'd like, he throws a Pikmin at you or he like jab jabs into grab and then he gets a grab confirm. But it's like, you're not landing grabs and you're not landing jabs on Sonic. And also, up smashes. I was thinking about up smashes. That too. That's like one of the best possible combo starters that you can get at lower percents. And how in the world are you going to up smash a Sonic? Like, you know, like, you can probably, in a situation like that, you can probably like try and get something. But other than that, it's Stupid hard to do anything to get anything started on this map. Oh man, we have two Ooh. purples though. Indeed. So I have to be right back. My food is here. Uh, I will be right back in like five Ew, minutes. Ew, you eat? I eat food. Gross. All right, anyway, I'm going to hold down the fort for the last half a second of this game. That was kind of a foregone conclusion. Kamex knew what he needed to do in the matchup and was just doing it. Not messing around, not trying to, you know, go for cheeky things or, you know, being cute. No, there was there was a clear dominant strategy that was working for him, and he just kept doing it. Yeah, you know, this is the best three out of five, but Sweets is going to have to do a whole lot of adaptation, a whole lot of outplaying, honestly, in order to take this uh, in order to take this set away from Kamex. Thinking about how dominant that last game was, how in control Kamex was at every single turn, every juncture. I don't think Swingsy would ever switch off unless he somehow mind gamed Kamex into doing a random ditto, which I have seen him do before, but I would be very surprised if he manages to pull that off on Kamex and losers' finals. All right, moving on to game two. We now have Battlefield as the stage pick. Very curious. I'm wondering exactly what the thought process is behind Battlefield. Uh, I mean, the stage is kind of smaller, so maybe less room for Kamex to run away. I mean, it feels like, yeah, the matchup is just difficult at its core, so maybe try and extend some combos using those platforms. You know, it, it's kind of rare for Swingsy to find openings, so when he does, hopefully he can get the most out of it that he could. Also, wider blast zones on the side mean that he might not be dying quite the same way to things like the uh, the spin dash into forward air off stage. Okay, but look at this. Swingsy has not been able to get much percent at all. It's kind of the nature of things that, yes, I think the stage has been better for him in disadvantage, but it hasn't fixed the issue of the neutral. hasn't fixed the problem of Kamex is just opening him up, hitting him over and over and over again. <sighs> yeah, catching that landing. It's kind of inevitable that eventually Swigsy would be put in a position where that back end was going to land. Ooh, I'm just saying how well is he ever going to land an up smash, but if Kamex is going to land right into him, yeah, that's certainly going to be an opportunity. All right, we now look at that lineup. He has the, oh, I was going to say he had the blue, but he didn't even need it. Instead, just goes for the smash attack. And this game was so 
decisively dominant for Camex. And all of a sudden, Sweetsy has the lead. Just with a really good, strong pickup. Strong lead with that up, with the, uh, the forward smash. Has managed to keep him alive and well. And, oh man, so that white landed on him and he tried to go for upper to kill it, but. Oh! <gasps> I came back at the right time. Okay, so I come it. back and Sweezy's not getting just blown up for playing a character against Sonic. I mean, he was getting blown up, but then I guess he decided to win. Oh, that's and then he decided to lose. Uh, it's like he needs when he's that low. I feel like he just drop all Pikmin and then go to. So the thing is, that. I mean, the other part to it is that so we had Kamix charging that uh, the spin that uh, the. Oh. Uh, the homing attack, so he needed to delay as much as he could to avoid getting hit by it. But it's the sort of thing where even if he got hit by that that uh, homing attack, he wouldn't have died for it. Oh. So, you know. Anyway, it's a bit of an unfortunate extension from uh, from Sweeksy is going to even up the game pretty much neck and neck in percent, but we've already seen that Sweeksy, in order to pull ahead, needs really big reads, yes, whereas Kamek kind of doesn't have to m mess around with that. Instead, he could just spin dash, just play the way he wants to, having a fun time dancing all around. Uh, yeah, nothing really changed with Kamek's game plan. He just kind of just play spin dash, get these Pikmin off me. Sweeksy's still not going to the ledge. Even though I told him that last time, go to the ledge. Because he, he gets blown up every time he goes on stage. That was the only time he landed on stage and he did not explode for did it. Did they still play in winners? Yes, they did. Oh. So this is a run back. You know what the set count one is in winners? Uh, the set count was 2-0. Damn it. Game two was a lot closer than game one because game one was actually uh, that's terrible. That's kind of what we're having here. Game two, pretty dang close oh, He now. might be dead. Wow. Jesus. He was dead in like, oh, that up throw is crazy strong with that rage. Jesus, okay. So I, so he put something on the board. Like I know it's a kill move. I'm still surprised to kill. Me too. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, now we actually have one one between these two. Feels like maybe Swiggy is figuring it out, adapting in the ways that he needs to be playing. But also at the same time, it felt like that game was decided by two really big call outs. The down air and before that, the forward smash they got in the first stop. Oh, that's how we did that. Okay, nice. And uh, we're back on PS2. Lord have mercy, he managed to get past that. Well, I think that it, homing attack was always going to hit the Pikmin that were on, latched onto him, right? Oh! You know, I didn't think about that. I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't. We might see that interaction later, so we I don't might know get if we confirmation. You know, from the way later. this match is going, I don't know if we will. But I feel like Kamex might think about that, so he's gonna like neutral air or do his other spin dash before he even decides to hold his attack. Jesus Christ! None of the Pikmin are able to break him out of the down, the down B. That is unfortunate. Does uh, does purple not even do it? Nah, I, I don't. I think it's a timing thing. So he has to do it before like he initiates the charge for down B. I think purple will break him out of side be easier, but recognizing which one it is, it, it is kind of tough. Got a spin dash and a spin charge. Why get Sonic? Why get Sonic two spinning moves? Makes zero sense. What cooler moves it could have given the character. Oh my God, he's dead! Ooh, okay, hey, this very is close. By far the most even. Uh, <laughs> First stock we've had, but nice. Kamek's picking uh, it up right there, nice and now things here. can. If if Sweet, I feel like if Sweezy responds very quickly with it, like no stock taken, mm -hmm. then he's gonna keep himself in it. But if he doesn't, if he ends up taking a bunch of damage, if he ends up really struggling to find a way to actually kill Kamex, uh, when Cam once Kamex runs away with the game, it's just it, it's, it's insurmountable. Literally, like it's, it's like you're trying to literally catch up to Sonic. Even in a race, you can't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to do that in this game, and especially when it's already a really bad matchup, it's hard for you to rack up damage as it is against Sonic just because he just is able to stop your win condition. Wow, he armored through it, but still got hit by the neutral air follow-up. Unfortunate. This is, this is, I feel like PS2 is just such a... It's a very rough stage for Swayze to fight this character on. Needs to ban it. Needs to get something started. Another F to get him off stage. Nice. Up smash hits from behind him. Very whack. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. 
It went it gets it brings the bacon home for all the, for this character. Back throw, doing the job. Oh my god, and now we're just seeing the same thing over and over again. Swigsy getting carried off to the other side of the stage. Wait, oh no, good parry. Purple just clanks. Damn, that spin charge is hurting the down smash. Again, we're seeing Swigsy land on the stage and getting blown up by that spin dash and then Ooh. down there for the dunk. Yikes. That's a message. That was. Uh, that hurt. Brutal. That hurt. I felt that one. Oh man, and when you, if you're Swigzy, like what what was the turning point? What when did things go so wrong? When he lost the first stock. I mean, the first stock is so, it, it's one of those matchups where the first stock is so crucial because then they decide to pace in a game. They're you're playing their game. Like we're playing tag. You're it. Catch me. Yeah, and I want to note that every single game so far, uh Chemix has taken the first stock. Game 2 Swigzy managed to take it back immediately with this forward smash read. Okay. Um, but Swigzy needs to break that trend. He can't. The, the fact that it's required, if that happens, what in order for him to take the game from that point is with some crazy strong read. It's like you can't. That's not a reliable. That's not a winning strategy. No, it's it's not. It, it, but it's like it's something he has to do on his matchup. It's like he has to prey on a whim. Or like break Hammocks does something really un unsafe so he can like clutch it. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I think he knew that he didn't have enough Pikmin to really get a solid punish off there. That was that's an unfortunate time. Most ways he has to go to ledge. He actually went to ledge. That's crazy. I guess maybe that's why he doesn't want to go to ledge so much because of that down air. It's very threatening. I mean, as you saw right there, because it whiffed, he ended up falling safe control. It is risky that if, if uh, Kamix isn't on point with his timing. All right, fix I mean, that problem. I forget Olimar can act so fast out of the pluck. Once he plucks a Pikmin, he can act insanely fast out of that. That's crazy. Can he really say pop, bang? Don't, pro don't touch So did he? He forward smashed right through the. Uh, the is that the spin dash that he was going I for? I think it was a dash attack, or it might have been a spin dash. I don't know. How does a spin? I, I mean, uh, there are two moves. I'm actually curious why. He, I feel like pivot grab would maybe do decent. It actually did. I, the, I saw uh, Quid do that once. He timed the pivot grab just right. Nice. But it might be death in this. Yes, he is. So we're seeing. Oh, we're fighting to Dragon Quest music, bro. Get this. Man. This is what happens when you don't pick the music. You get some <laughs> black ass stuff like I, this. I'm gonna. Uh, I I feel like, uh, didn't the guy who wrote the Dragon Quest music just die? Yes, he did. Wasn't he also problematic? He was very, very, very problematic. <laughs> <laughs> From what I heard, like, I'd, I've never heard about him, and I don't really like Dragon Quest music, so I was like, I don't really care about him. But when I heard, like, I heard it, I was like, oh, that's sad. Then I heard about this type of stuff you talk about, I'm like, oh, this guy was an asshole. <laughs> like, yeah. He had some very questionable beliefs. Uh, not even questionable. Just like, why would you think like this type of type of things? Like, it's like uh, uh, I saw I, I saw a in the draft that was like you know sort of like uh, you know panel one. I think it was like Uno. It's like panel one is mm -hmm. don't speak ill of the dead, mm -hmm. and then panel two was the reverse one, which don't be a piece of shit when you're alive. That is a fact. <laughs> oh, let's get back to this game. Swingy now is the lead. Triflex yeah. is is really the go-to. So why doesn't he ban PS2? What is the state? Oh, that was. A I'm surprised that Kamix let him go here again. I don't, I don't know what. Yeah, no. I think it's because like Kamix feels like he probably just let the lead slip by, but it might just be a stage thing now. Yeah, I mean, it, for the most part, Swigzy, the biggest thing he's getting at a disadvantage so much easier. Okay, so you're right. The homing attack does it does uh, lock onto the Pikmin if it's on him. Oh, the fact that he had the purple and the purple is just slightly slow, smaller range again? is why that didn't hit. Caught the roll back oh. with the up smash of the purple. Swigzy is making this impossible matchup look doable. What the hell? Like, what timeline am I, am I in where I'm rooting for Swigzy? That Jay? <laughs> hey, yo, Jay Grunt. Yo, is that retired Smash player, Jay Grunt? Retired Smash player, now local GSP farmer. Ah, oh, it's the GSP farmer himself, Jake. Run. Anyways, what stage did we go to? I totally missed it. 
Um, I would guess one, either PS2 or Small Battle. Did we really go back to PS2? Did this place he learned? We went oh. to Kalos. This is probably what he was scared of. Now that I think about it, this is 100% what he was scared of. Ooh. This is not good. And this is a rough one for him. And yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. The fact that he can spin dash and then retreat to those platforms on top. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a rough time for Swayze. Granted, starting off pretty okay. Very well. Able to keep his distance. Nah, okay. You know, I can see how this works up for Swigzy. Because he can throw his Pikmin at a very long distance. And, like, if, if Kamek chooses the wrong spin dash option, then, oh, my God. <laughs> and then it would be we really hard for him to, like, cover with. This game was supposed to be terrible for Swigzy. Yeah. How is he doing this right now? What this the is hell a is going on? Lead. How is he landing? How is he landing these up smashes? How is he He's landing anything? This is just brilliant stuff right now. From brilliant him. stuff. I saw three smash attacks in a row. Are you really sure that's brilliant? <laughs> uh, yes. Because here's the thing. If it works, then it's the smartest thing you can do. And if it doesn't work, then you look dumb. Jesus. No, no. If it doesn't work, then uh, you do it again. <laughs> Didn't your mother ever teach you if at first you don't succeed, smash attack, smash attack again? She told me something vastly different, but also very similar at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Purple is actually doing wonders right now, disrupting Sonic's, disrupting Sonic's approach, disrupting him, oh. his ledge trapping. Wow. Dude, you, I love that. Swiggy so had that drift back and the purple in hand ready. He's just like... Despite the fact that this this stage in particular should be one of the hardest for him to, you know, get out of disadvantage. Oh man. That first stock does wonders. Oh my god, that was that was a check. That was a press. He pressed him. He really G checked him right there. <laughs> He's like, you're gonna drop shield, aren't you? Ran up yo, what is Swagsy, bro? He really just G checked him. I can't believe that really just <laughs> Like he didn't get anything off that he got punished for, but it's still it's hilarious to me. Oh my god, the, the blue wow. killed him, Swigs. He's up to all stocks against Kamex. What the heck is happening? And, you know, as great as Sonic is when he has the lead, when he's in this position, it can actually be so bad. Especially because I don't think Swingzy would want to do this, but if the timer ticks down, he could play to a timeout. He could. He's not going. I don't think Swingzy is going to. It's not in his nature to do it, it. He's not. But if the game slows down to a point where, like, you know, he's he gets that. Like, if the thing is, in order for Kamex to get a comeback, I feel like it's he he's going to have to. He he's going to have down. to slow it down exactly. So if you get to the last stock and there's a minute on the clock, okay, yeah, you need to time him out. Now, what I will say is that uh, the way Swigzy is controlling the pace of this game right now, even though it's against Sonic and this is losing matchup, Swigzy is 100% controlling the pace of this game. We're playing at Swigzy's pace. Kamex is really going to have to fight to bring this to a slow. And it's really hard because he knows if he brings it to a slow, he's not. It's not. It's not gonna get. He's not gonna get anywhere. Especially with this crazy lead swings he had. These purples are disrupting everything Kamek wants to do. He, he drops shields. The purples in his face. He wants to spin that. So the purple there. Yeah, it's Swigzy just has a read on the approach timings. He's throwing out these Pikmin, these smash attacks, exactly as soon as Kamex thinks he has time to go in, just like that with the particular lineup he has also. I, I never thought I would say this is actually looking scary for Kamex. I did not think this word, those words are going to come out of my mouth. Jesus Christ, that up smash! Oh, not the, for some reason, I didn't even know up smash had a weak hit. Man, this isn't... This isn't just scary, man. This is like we're in spook month. Yes, we are. Wait. All of a sudden, oh. this is looking really doable. All of a sudden. Time him out, Swigzy. You got this. Three minutes on the clock. Why not? Oh, my God. He's dead. Oh, my God. He's dead. What? No kill screen? That grab was crazy. That was so quick. It was instant. I didn't even know Swigzy we had a blue. Swigzy finally did it. Swigzy actually did it. Oh, my God.